first trip all I'm experiencing this year. Oh. Today is election day, guys, and I am going to perform my rights by voting. Hey. Whoa. Hello guys, so um, I have been, I've actually been unwell for a while now, um, I started feeling, you know, weak like two days ago and I started getting down with, um, I also had a sore throat, so then I couldn't like go to get medicine for myself, so I just took painkillers and yes my entire body was in pain so i took painkillers and the pain my body pain actually went away but you know my throat still hurts until today my throat is still hurting like it's like the pain is even getting worse for some reason so so right now i just want to go to a nurse who has a shop close to my house and get some drugs for the throat pain because <coughs> It's really starting to get worse and it's really starting to affect me so I need to take care of that. I don't know if it's soft fruit. I don't used to have soft fruit normally but my trip has been pain since the day before yesterday so I came here to get to trust because the pain is getting worse. But when I get a mozzy for now. So I got the drugs. Yeah. So now go eat something. <coughs> I'll eat something and take the drugs. And I think I need to talk less because my throat really hurts. I need to stop talking. Guys, the very first trip all I'm experiencing this year. Like I was just in it just now and it felt so good. Despite the fact that rain fell, there's still so much heat. Just look at how I'm sweating, just from being in the kitchen for a couple of minutes. This weather is not weathering the way I want it to weather. I just woke up um, yeah I just woke up uh, time is about it's about 7 in the morning yeah I'm about to go start getting ready to to go to my polling unit yes guys today is the day of the election today is election day guys and I am going 
going to perform my rights by voting. Guys, this is the opportunity that we Nigerians get to finally save our country, to finally elect a good leader for our country. I best believe that I'm going to be part of that. I'm going to be part of that process of choosing the best leader for our country and we all know who that person is. I'm not even going to mince words, it's Peter Obi. I'm going to vote Peter Obi. My family and I today, we are voting for Peter Obi today. In fact, not just my family, my friends, everybody that I'm acquainted with, my loved ones, we are all voting for Peter Obi. As usual, I'm nervous, you know, to vote, to go out and vote. This is the first time I'm going to be voting ever. And I'm just 20 years, so it's not like I would have gotten an opportunity to vote before. But this is my first time ever voting. And although I'm nervous, I, I'm also pumped. Yeah, I'm excited to, to go and do this. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go and start getting ready. I've already brought out what I'm going to wear. So I just need to go brush, bathe, and find something to eat. Take my belongings my pvc and i'm going to go to my polling unit it's not far from my house the polling unit is not far from my house so i'm going to go there and then whatever i meet there i meet it then i vote that's it so let's go to this guys i'm i'm excited because i can i can feel it a new should i say a breakthrough is coming for our country guys and i'm excited for that
My legs. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. So guys, this is be like um, <clears throat> two days after the election. Uh, I've actually been unwell. Yeah, I've not been feeling fine. Like this whole period, I've just been unwell. I've been taking drugs and like the election, they just kind of, I was already sick before. But with what I had to face on the election day, it just made it worse. Literally, it was the most stress I've ever had to go through. I stood for over six hours. I was standing in line. So I said the line wasn't even moving. I had to stand in line for so long. And then it began to rain. Like, it began to pour, but refused to you know we stood under the rain we all decided to stay despite the heavy rain that was falling we got ourselves drenched a lot of people caught a cold i think myself included but we were not ready to leave we weren't going to leave without getting our votes done so that was you know I just like the spirit everyone came with that day and it made me, you know, even more determined to achieve my goal, which was to vote. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and although the um should I say the INEC officials they said um they were going to end the voting at around was it two thirty they said, but we all knew that that was not going to happen because nobody was going to go home without voting. And it didn't matter how long it took, it didn't matter what time they finished, no one was going to go home without voting. I know I ended up voting around past four. That was when I finally got the chance to vote. And by then, my legs were already giving out. My legs were literally feeling me. I was using an umbrella as a walking stick because my legs were just... If I had stood there even longer, I probably wouldn't would have fallen. I probably, <coughs> I probably would have found myself on the floor. So I'm just glad I got the chance to vote. And I voted. I voted Peter Obi, of course. And then I went home immediately. I couldn't even wait behind, you know, to know what the results were going to be. But I just know for sure because everyone that was there, they are all supporters of Peter Obi. So I just know that Peter Obi was going to win in that police unit yeah. So, I came home and somehow I just got even worse. My health just got even worse. My body temperature was so high and I was feeling so cold and, you know, I couldn't really eat much. And I just went to sleep because my entire body was in pains. My legs especially, they were in pains. So that's why I'm just coming back, you know, now to do an ending to this video. So, so far, the results I've been seeing, I think they're a bit encouraging. I just hope that when everything is done, that Peter will be will emerge the winner. Like, he's going to have a flawless victory and emerge the president of this country. So that's, that's our prayers now. I just pray that um, the people who... Um, her crossing violence, trying to <coughs> <coughs> the people who are causing violence or the people who want to win the election, they will not succeed. So, yeah, guys, keeping a positive mindset and praying and knowing and believing that Peter Obi has already won. So, yeah. Since I've pretty much been sick since I came back, I haven't really done anything for myself. I I haven't been able to like take care of myself. Like look at me, look at how I look right now. I d I don't look I don't look put together at all. And since I came back, I have not washed any of my clothes. Like a lot of my things are just 
I just don't care. So hopefully, um, I'm going to get myself going to get better, and when I do, I'll be able to take care of these things. So that's probably going to be, you know, my next video. My next video is going to be kind of a um, getting my life together type of video. You know, after falling sick. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you also performed your civic rights by voting, thank you so much. If you voted Peter B, thank you so much. If you know you voted another person, well, sorry for you. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video when I'll be you know, stronger and healthier and louder. Cause even I now I can I can barely hear my own voice. <clears throat> and talking is painful. Like my throat hurts, but that will not be the case in the next video. So see you guys then. <laughs>